Phil Austin cash strength is so good. I don't know. Um, I have a fresh crack on one. So we're gonna find out together if this is really worth an extra 30 bucks. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no, just because, like you said, still lost the cash ring is it's killer. Let me get the light on real quick. What's well, up, Court? <laughs> Don't even know if that made much of a difference, but who cares? I'll put the drink maybe right there. How's that look? Let's see. Right there, right there. Let's figure this out. It's first time doing a live stream in a garage. Come on. But we all know whiskey, beer, it all tastes better in a garage. It's hard to do. Hard to do. There we go, keep it like that. Turn it away from me a little. There we go. Look at that. I'm comfy. Pour yourself up something. How's the audio, can you hear me good? Everyone? What's today? Tuesday? No, Monday. Shitty Mondays, huh? Yo, what's up, baby? All right. Can you hear me fine? Little garage theme, that's right. That's right. Try some, Whoa, that's my dog. Try something a little different. Um, we got some, I think glasses that we haven't talked about yet, so that's what we're gonna do. Starting off with this monster, shout out to Joe for buying it. I'm gonna be very sad when this runs out. Hopefully Bevy's doesn't sell out because I think before I leave, I might buy a couple more. They're not the easiest to find, and this one in particular is just freaking bomb, baby. Yo, what's the stream about? So we have, I mean, a bunch of whiskey, at least five bottles to talk about, um, a whiskier pick bottle, also a Still Austin Cash Stream, and also some Danny Deets, but we're just gonna be drinking whiskey in the garage, kind of hanging out. Um, Men be a men. I need to go get one of those bad boys. Dude, you do. It's just. It's insane how good the nose is on this. It's one of the best noses I've ever seen. Seen. Can't see a nose. One of the best noses I've ever smelled. I mean, it's incredible. Show your. What the? Dude, it's, it's hard to believe that this is alcohol. Like seriously, it's that good. It almost smells like a dessert cocktail, you know? Cheers, dude, happy Monday. I hope everyone's had a good Monday. I have uh, fortunately not been working since March 1st. Yeah, I've been off. You hear that? That's the national anthem. You might hear it. Cross stream is starting off crazy. I haven't gone back to this bottle since it's opened up in a while. Dude, this might be one of the best bottles I have right now. And it's 90.4 proof, but it's a store pick. I, I'm not crazy, dude, over Woodford Double Oak. I'm really not. But this stuff is freaking money. Yo, what's up, McBean? Joe, Joe, both Joes in here. What's up, baby? Hey, would one of you mind um, posting the, the stream link in the Patreon chat? Just so people know. I know I posted a poll in there earlier um, for our Patreon members if, if we were going to do a live or not. And I thought, you know what? Let's not do it too late tonight. Let's try to do something different and do it outside. But not outside because it's freaking windy. How was your Monday? <laughs> Whack Monday would happen, dude. Yeah. Solid bottle to start. Get your palate warmed up. Woo! I'm excited. Wow. Smells nice, dude. Ex San Somebody get that man out of here. 
a little troll. Dude, I mean, this is literally, it smells like it's something that was aged like 30 years. Not a lot of oak, I'm not saying that. It's just all those sweet cherry candy, almost licorice notes, it's just perfect. 86,000 seconds, how was that? How's that for you, troll? Uh, dude, the VA appointment was crazy, man. It was like three hours long. It was three hours long. My first VA appointment today, I had to do x-rays, blood work, a breathing test, and then I had to like bend, like bend every joint in my body so they could measure. It was a good time though. The, the doc was cool. Late night streams on the East Coast are rough. That's what I'm saying, Joe. So I'm gonna try to do, try to switch it up today. Try to do something a little different. And I normally drink it this time anyway, before a live stream. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it for, let's do it for the East side, baby. Uh, dude, it's going good. How are you, Jamie? Or Jaime? Jaime, right? Or Jamie, either way. What's up, soldier? And what is up, Jesse? Mm. I don't think I've done this one on stream yet. 150 proof. 150 proof. Dude, that's insanity. It's fire, like fire on your mouth. It's Taylor barrel proof dropping in Ohio. Really? That's a random time. I wonder like why this, this week? How many are you gonna get? Can you get more than one? Are they limited, I'm sure. You smell this all day. I think this is something you could drink in the garage. <laughs> um, drink in your house. Drink at a football game that you snuck a flask into. Drink by the campfire. Uh, just drink, dude. I love it. People are already camping out for E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Look, it is phenomenal. But to camp out for it? I don't know, man. Joe's got some pretty crazy, pretty cool stuff, right, Joe? Pretty sure you do. That was a good start. That was great. It's almost a little smoky. I love it, man. Two years not being the lottery, that makes sense. Okay, that's probably why people are going nuts. Because now more people have a chance. It's not just a lottery thing. Uh, just picked up Jamesy e. Pepper um, Barrel Proof. I think it's pretty good. I've never had Jamesy e. Pepper. I've always thought that the decanter looking bottles were sweet, um, but never had one of those yet. I was at Bevy's today, didn't see the double. So the, the this was at the Littleton location. It's Bevy's Littleton, unfortunately. Dang, I wish you would have messaged. I would have told you to just drive right down the road. I don't think it's that far. What up, Eddie? Um, have you tried the Ace of Spades by Motorhead? No, I've never heard of that actually, Albert. I have not tried it. James E. Pepper so much. I do too. I think the bottles are sick. I've come to the garage once, don't know how to act. I'm spilling water everywhere. All right. Um, I think we... We'll save 150 proof for last, right? That way we're not destroying our taste buds. From Cali? Oh, hell yeah. I hear the market in Cali for whiskey's actually not that bad. From the people that I know out there, they say it's not that bad. All right, we're gonna go with this, baby. Danny Dietzville. Um, little background too, for those of you that don't know their is it, yeah, the Deedsville Warehouse is where like all the fits, all their special products that come out of Heaven Hill are aged and the owner of this store was able to pick a barrel of Elijah Craig from there. Shout out to Joe as well for this Also, Joe, I'm gonna need to grab another of those 150 proofs just because I'm never gonna find something like that again, so I'm gonna have to do that. Hey, drop the like if you're in here.
There it is. Okay, so the best way, Hi-Rai Peerless. I wasn't super impressed with it, gonna revisit it again this week. I have not had the Hi-Rai from Peerless. I've had their single barrel, both of their double oaked rye and bourbon. And I think that's maybe a rye, but I really enjoyed everything that they had. Dude, 150 is crazy. Okay, the best way that I could explain this, Elijah Craig, and, and Joe kind of hit on it the day that we got these, it, it sm not smells, it smells like Christmas in a glass, and it tastes, from what I remember, because it's opened up a little, it tasted like you're gonna get a, a shit ton of nuttiness and barrel, like a lot of oak on it, but it was not. It's only, and then on the back end, it's just so sweet and nice, it finishes great. Eagle wears a hunter. That is insane, actually. Uncle Near said it's so good. Dude, I have an Uncle Near single barrel that I love. Also, real quick, um, if there's any non-Patreon members in here right now and you want to check out the Patreon, highly recommend. Uh, five bucks a month, and we have a pretty good time. Really cool group chat. A really good, good, good what am I trying to say? A really great group of guys. Um, always talk about whiskey. I like to post at least once, if not twice a day, if I can, inside of Patreon. Um, yeah, it's a good time. So, really appreciate you guys, though. Uh, you think, <laughs> then boom, it turns to fruit. I am gonna question, somebody should time, can't, what's the minimum that you could time? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Clyde Mays, couple stores near me have single barrels. Yes, I've had Clyde Mays. It's not the greatest single barrel. It's not the greatest single barrel, but it is really good. If you can find it for under 40 or 50 bucks, it's solid to have. It's one to have, and I think you, you should check it out if you've been wanting to. Hey, Joe, one of the Joes, would you mind posting a link to the Patreon real quick? Just in case, if people are curious. Dude, that's opened up to straight up goodness. Goodness sake. Posted, you posted uh, the, the link in, in the live, in this here. Sorry, I didn't see it, thank you, brother. So, dude, I'm telling you, this is crazy. I don't like Elijah Craig a whole lot, but this bottle is crazy good. When is the 291 whiskey pick? drop that is very soon they've dumped everything we are specifically waiting on labels that's it and then after that we'll send them off to for those of you that live outside of, outside of Colorado send it off to seal box is where this pick's going to be on um, that bottle will be shipped to you and if you're local to Colorado we'll have pickup and everything available we need to get we need to get a drink yeah dude I would love to do that McBean I should still be here the Deeds Def had to open up, and it did. That's what's crazy. Wasn't expecting that, but holy crap. Are barrel picks from Elijah Barrel proof? Some are, some aren't. This one I want to say is. It's 119 proof. Yes, barrel proof. I've seen some that aren't, though. Um, typically, Elijah Craig barrel picks, not a big fan. Really, truly, not a big fan. I'm even not crazy over the barrel proofs, like standard C923, different story. This though, I don't, it's crazy. It's so nice, so mellow. It sips it like a hundred proof, dude. It doesn't make sense. It's so sweet. Now I don't even get a whole lot of like barrel or oak on the freaking palate. It's so weird. Thank you, Joe. That's the Patreon link for anyone wondering that, if any of you are non-members of the Patreon. But we're not big enough, listen, hey, we're not big enough to do anything past a $5 tier. It makes zero sense for me to go anything past $5. Um, the only reason I could ever see it maybe happen one day is if we have so many people that want barrel picks that there might have to be two tiers, that way the, the first tier. But right now, dude, I, my plan, my goal is to keep it five bucks for as long as I can. And if I can't, like if we have so many people wanting to do barrel picks, that way everyone has a fair chance, I'll just pick two barrels. I want to keep it five bucks. I really do. That's the goal. Not guaranteed that it's going to happen, but I really would like to do that. That's something I think that's pretty cool. 
Any tried Larceny? No, I haven't tried. I didn't know that uh, Larceny came out with a 124 yet. Any of those. Hey, Bourbon and Rye Guy. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Dude, this is fun. I like doing this in my garage. I think I'm going to do this more often. And I can be as loud as I want. Can't hear me inside. Because I got a newborn baby and everything now. So, you know, got to keep, got to keep it down a little bit. Yo, check this out real quick, too. I need to hang this up. Art of the Spirits, you can get tins. Oh, Joel Rogers, five, we got a new Patreon member. Shout out to Joel Rogers, just got the notification if you're on here. Cheers, baby, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Look at this. Could hang that right there or something. But anyway, at Art of the Spirits, if you buy a bottle, you get a free tin with your purchase. It's pretty sweet, huh? I have a couple more tins. When I build a bar, guys, when we move, it's gonna be awesome. But here, check this out. So, ugh. thank you to our newest Patreon member. I appreciate you. Cheers, cheers. Bevy's Parker has some in stock. Oh, I haven't. Did you grab the Colorado Springs? No, man, I did not, Victor. I didn't grab the Colorado Springs Bourbon Society pick. Um. How do I word this right? Not my favorite group in the world. Just say that. But I did not grab it. And I'm not crazy over a Forrester. Yeah, dude, get ready. Let's pour up together. All right, so then next we have this one from Art of the Spirits as well. Metal tins. I bought this bottle and this tin came with it. And Richard Paul signed it. The creator, Art of the Spirits. And then from Private Label, one of my favorite uh, Colorado Springs local distilleries. I got this one as well. I really, really want to start collecting things and getting things ready for the bar when we go home. Um, I have a few months left here in Colorado, guys. After that, you're going to see like some hopefully beautiful background. I'm transforming it. It's going to be sweet. Um, and that'll be like the studio, office, everything. It's going to be so fun. I'm trying to make it up the springs around 4th of July. I will be here for 4th of July and private label is the best place to watch fireworks on that day. Joe, this is phenomenal, bro. Crazy, crazy good. Dude, Aspen Age whiskey is actually good. Really good. Um, so here's the deal. When I picked the 291 barrel, I have, I have a good bit of 291 in the house. When I picked the barrel, I was wondering, I was like, oh, dude, what if it tastes way better without the Aspen stakes? Because they finish everything in Aspen. It didn't taste that much different. The thing about 291 that makes it so special is their rye. And they get some of it from Germany. It's some type of German rye, and it's freaking fire. Now, the Aspen stage just adds a Christmas note. It's like Christmas in a glass. Finish, and hear me out. A rye whiskey at like 125 proof. Finished in a maple syrup barrel. A dark maple syrup barrel, too. And then they finish it with like Christmas. It's freaking phenomenal. It's Christmas and maple syrup. What more do you want? I am leaving you in Colorado, but I'll be back. Colorado's a second home to me, man. I've, I've established some roots here, so I will be back a lot. What's up, Josh? We're in the garage today, man. This is where me and Josh had our first glass of whiskey together, or a few of them. ETA on 291 pick. Excited to get my bottle. I love 291. Dude, awesome to hear. I love 291 as well. Uh, like I said earlier, they, they've they done bottled. We're literally just waiting on labels. After that, if you live outside of the state, it's going to be shipped to you um, through seal box. And if you live within the state and you're not far, then we have pickup field. Oh, dude, you're going to love this pick. Uh, so here's, here's a fun story. When we were doing the barrel pick, um, Matt, good friend of mine that we, we collabed on, he has this tasting group, and I, I love love going to those tastings. But when we collabed, he paired, we tried four barrels, or five barrels. One of them was just bad. Like, it was just horrible. And it, I, it, they think that it had something to do with the maple. I don't know. It was bad. So then we had four barrels to pick from, and number C was, was it C? Yes, number C was just phenomenal. And then he mixed A and C together, but then I mixed B and C together, and it was just like, 
because B had the most proof, but A was the sweetest. It was just so nice. I'll mix those together and it was awesome. I can't wait. This bottle's not gonna last long. No way. Wait, Josh, while you're in here, before I forget, please don't do it. Nobody feel obligated to do it. But does it now give you the option to like super chat or whatever it was? I think I figured out the problem, but I'm not too sure. Because I remember Josh the other day had asked me, he said, what happened in the super chat? I can't do it anymore. Don't, I'm not asking you to do it, but does it allow you to now? Ooh, yeah. Okay, we got two bottles down. Let's get into this, okay? Um, bottle of the month bottle coming out this month. This is this month's bottle. And what the bottle of the month is, I think some of you know, some of you might not, but anyway, the new company that I work for, Whiskey Raiders, they have a bottle of the month club. And you pay a monthly subscription, they send you a bottle that we pick. I wasn't here for this one, but every one in the future, I picked. So, we have a chicken cock coming up, a chicken cock single barrel coming up. We also have an Art of the Spirit single barrel coming up, and that is a Burai double oaked goodness. I have that. I have two of those in my cabinet. And this is this month, Still Awesome. Huge fan of Still Awesome Cash Strength, but I've always heard people say how inconsistent the single barrels are. And I didn't pick this one. Now, I did crack it first night. I wasn't that crazy over it, but I've also had a few pours before then. So I want to revisit it and see what it's all about. On phone, no. Uh, no worries. And I was just wondering if it, if it gave the option. What's called again to get these picks? Oh, so these picks are the bottle of the month club. So if you see reserve bar helps us do these. But if you go on to Whiskey Raiders, WhiskeyRaiders.com, it's their bottle of the month program. You could sign up and get all those bottles. So I think um, last month we did Short Barrel. Short Barrel was the bottle of the month. The month before that, we had a Stranahan Single Barrel Cash Strength. That one was crazy. We have this this month. We have a Chicken Cock coming out. Art of the Spirits coming out. Um, like just really cool stuff. And again, you get a, not a free bottle. You're paying for your subscription every single month. But the cool thing is we do a live stream. Myself and a few other of the Whiskey Raiders and people at this company get on the live stream together. So we get to talk whiskey with some of the people at uh, Still Austin while we do a live stream. It's really cool. Where do we purchase these bottles? It's Whiskey Raiders Bottle of the Month. If I don't, I don't have the option to put a link right now. If maybe one of the mods could, that'd be great. Yo, Tyrone, guess what? I'll get you out of here. How about that, Val? <laughs> okay, smells much better this time around. The first time when it was a fresh crack and it came in the mail, it smelled like honey mustard a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, pretty cool channel. Too bad I can't drink because I have bad Howard problems. I'm sorry to hear that. But seriously, it honestly means so much to me that you still watch the channel because you enjoy it, even though you can't drink. That's actually really cool. You know, especially something so specific like whiskey, whiskey only, so. Oh, here you go, Whiskey Raiders Bottle of the Month Club. That's where you sign up and get a bottle every month, and it's kind of nice because it comes right to your doorstep. <laughs> All right, this smells so much better. First time, it almost was like George Dickel, like minerally. This time, smells much sweeter, little less pine than the regular cash drink, which I love the regular cash drink. Cajun cooking video is next, that's right. Still not my favorite, man. Still not my favorite. And this is the first single barrel pick I think I've ever had that I'm not crazy over, like 
a brand that I really enjoy, which is a bummer. Again, I didn't pick this one yet. I've picked all the rest and I know that they're really good. Now, not to say every other one that I've had from them, freaking awesome. But I don't know, sometimes things could happen after you pick something, it's like, ooh. Still Austin does make their own juice. I'll be in Denver in October. Hope to do some hunting. Dude, October is probably gonna be a good time to do it too. Second go round's not as bad. It took a bigger sip, but it's a little, it's almost George Dickel in the, in the middle, you know? Almost a little bit. I'm interested. I'm glad I'm drinking it now because by the time the live stream comes around, hopefully it'll open up a little more. But that's the cool thing. I'm gonna be honest, no matter what. I'm not saying that, you know, I have... Four bottles now from the Bottle of the Month Club. Every single one is freaking awesome. Venturing out into the Denver area, have you been to Argonaut? No, we are going to Argonaut though. Argonaut is on the list. My guy Joe is hooking it up and figuring things out. So yeah. Buffalo Trace is terrible, just admit it. Like the company or the whiskey itself? Because I I'd, I would have to disagree, but it depends on which, which whiskey in particular we're talking about. What's up, Gorilla Glue? Mm. Not my favorite. Yeah, dude, we, yeah, we're gonna make it out to Denver again. I'll be spending a lot of time in Denver very soon. Um, okay. This one's pretty special to me. Cause I picked this barrel. This is not a bottle of the month bottle. This is a collaboration with a local bourbon club and Oasis Liquors here in Falcon, Colorado, about 12 minutes away from me. We did a pick of this Middle West Pumpernickel Rye. Now, here's what's crazy. They sent us eight samples total. Four, was it 10? No, eight. Four were Pumpernickel Rye samples and four were a wheat whiskey. The wheat whiskeys were all terrible, like really terrible. There were only two that were great in the rye, the other two, terrible. But this is what's insane to me. This one that we picked was legit a honey barrel. I mean a honey barrel. This is on par, just as good, if not better, Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof rye, Michter's rye, the toasted rye, you name it. It's that good. And I was just like, dude, because we were worried. We thought we were gonna have to send all the samples back and say, hey, these were terrible. Not the case. This one was actually good. Thank God we had one sample that was like worth picking. Cause I even, Chris was even, a, he even told me, he was like, dude, I'll send them back. I was like, hell yeah. So that's what we did. Uh, regular Buffalo Trace, not my favorite either. I like regular Buffalo. It's a good, it's a good in introduction. The Middle West is delicious. Not even funny. You've had, you, you bought a bottle of Victor. It's so good. So, so good. So if you're in the Colorado Springs area, even Denver, there's still some, I think there should be like 50 of these left, maybe less by now. Who knows? Because we sold out half of it already in the first three days. Um, but this one's worth, I'm serious, it's worth it. It's really, really worth it. Now, I, I, I just love this. Make sure you keep posting videos, love the content you post, and would love to see more. Hey, I really appreciate it. I'm never gonna stop, all right? The plan is to never stop. I really appreciate you for enjoying watching the channel. And look, hey, if we can get a Patreon link in here again, uh, if those of you aren't Patreon members, it's five bucks a month, that's it. You get to see even more content if you really enjoy the channel, really love the channel, behind the scenes stuff. Yesterday I smoked the pulled pork. We talked about pulled pork. We talked about military stuff, it doesn't matter. We have our own group chat in there, I post stuff that you don't see anywhere else, nowhere else. Um, on any other social media, they're exclusively to Patreon. I have my brother go pick one up for me. Dude, I think you're gonna love this. It's fantastic. You're drinking the whiskey or Cajun cut pick. 
Glad I bought two. Dude, that fit is incredible. And I have a, such good news coming from Cajun's Cut that I've been talking to. I can't wait. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, I'm not too sure if he has any more as well. Victor, I really do appreciate you for buying one of those, man. Hell yeah. Hour away from me, McBean. I really love Midwest. Yeah, I, I recommend it. Our pick was just Discord fun too. Hell yeah. There's the Patreon link for anyone wondering. Army, Air Force, or Space Force? Air Force. Air Force for almost six years. I literally hit six years in three months. Three months, damn. Time flies. And dude, look at this. This is my favorite tin that ever came out. So I have a 26-year-old bottle of whiskey from Art of the Spirits, and they named it the Oppenheimer. But look at that. Isn't that cool? It's an actual oil painting, and they make tins out of it. I love it. Freaking love it. And that's the labels that go in their bottles. Appreciate you guys for doing such a great pick. Everyone loved it. Dude, thank you, Victor. Thank you. Dude, Joe, right? Air Force girls. <laughs> Army of Marines. Not in the Army of Marines. I'm in the Air Force. But if I had to pick out of the two, they're both idiots. I don't know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We all... We are all in the military at the end of the day, but uh, Marines have the cooler uniforms. <laughs> Marines have the cooler uniforms, but they're, yeah, both just unique people. Um, Dude, when I posted that Peerless video, that's right, Hulk Hogan, that's right. Uh, when I posted that Peerless video and Peerless commented, I was like, this is it, this is it, we're going to do a double-oak pick. They did a response. Damn! But... Be real, if we did a, a peerless double oat rye or bourbon pick, who would buy one? I know I'm probably buying half a case, if not a case. They're, it's just, can you imagine a single barrel pick of that? I don't even know if they do that. I don't, knew, I don't know if they've ever done that. But I do know, if we can make that happen, that would be a dream, a freaking dream. Put me in for two. Dude, that would be incredible. Iowa, shout out Iowa. We met in Colorado. He was on a trip down here, and we actually ran into each other at Security Discount Liquors. Then we went to 291 Distillery. What a great guy. Joined the Patreon that night. Awesome. I would need a full case. That's what I'm saying, dude. I, would, I might need a full case. I'm all over some Peerless Double Oak. Can you imagine? They do do picks up Double Oaks too, Joe? Josh, I mean, that'd be crazy. Why is your sheep? Um, that's a great question because I live in on-base housing. Yeah, I live on a military base, so they don't finish it. In my new house, it'll be finished, but they don't finish it. But it is what it is, I guess. Ooh, a lot of honey. Dude, it doesn't smell like rye. Weirdly, really doesn't smell like wine. Rye. It smells like a, a lot of honey. Like a lot, a lot of honey, actually. And the reason I know it smells like honey, I've been dr uh, not drinking, but my wife bought some local Colorado honey, and she wasn't a fan. She likes honey from Louisiana. <laughs> Bougie. Anyway, I take that freaking thing and it's... <sighs> then I put it back. About 10 minutes later, I go over. <sighs> I just keep tearing that honey up. <clears throat> Dang, that would be sick. Base housing is the best. You know why it's the best? Because it's free. Yeah, for uh, Active Duty Hulk. Lock & Co. Aspen Rye. I had, actually, a lot of people don't know, a private label distillery. Let's see where they're at. Private label distillery makes their rye. They source from them. That's right down the road. Really good stuff. I'm a big fan. Dude, isn't it so good, Al? Isn't it so good? Peerless Double Oaks Rye. I think you got that from Josh, too, if I'm not... Maybe not, but I'm pretty sure you got that from Josh. That is fantastic. And I want to do a pick so bad. Okay. Mm. Al, you have this bottle. Tell him what you think. I know Al has this one. I know James, James actually told me he wasn't a fan. He said it was too spicy for him. I didn't think so, but that's all right. Me and James disagree on two things, scotch 
and this pick. I think this pick is awesome. Dude, I have that has my bottle as well. I loved it. And, by the way, Victor, a lot of people don't know, I was part of that blending process. Uh, Paul and I tasted like 22 barrels together to do their small batch. And I was like, yep, that's it. Private label is awesome. Dude, their rye is great. Their high proof is great. It's just good. Hey, if you haven't already, I think, I think liking the video helps, not positive. Go ahead and drop a like. <clears throat> Your first pumpernickel ride. I love it. Got two. Yes, I did as well. Freaking think this one is awesome. Awesome, awesome. It's got a beautiful color to it. Proof is, I think, 125. Yep, 120, uh, 125.7. Cash strength. And I'm almost positive it's, it's either the only or one of the first in the state of Colorado. It is such a good place. Such a great place, such great people. And that is actually the place that got me into whiskey three years, four years, three years, three years ago. Three years ago when I really, really dove deep into whiskey, it was at private label. I'd go there at least once a week. Sometimes I would go four days a week um, just to learn and try different things. The bartender, Miss Asha, also one of the owners. Um, yeah, she's phenomenal. Helped me out a lot. So I really, really can't thank them enough. And I would love to do a pick of them as well. And it wasn't bad. Dude, McBean, I've had some scotches that weren't bad. As long as they're not stupid peaty, they're okay. Matt Porter, I know ADHD. I right, reviewed 13th Century on his last live. He didn't look like he liked it. And that's fair. It's a hazmat, dude. I mean, um, to each their own. But I will say this. Matt might not have liked it because it is MGP. You know, some people really are like Kentucky only. Or Kentucky, Texas only. Kentucky, Ohio only. Kentucky, Virginia only. Kentucky only i love mgp mgp is one of my favorites probably my favorite rye mash bill period it's that good so that could be it jaron coming dude jaron's in arizona he's on vacation um josh could be here right now man but he's not <laughs> crazy huh it's crazy because i've lived in the springs but never knew about it till your video now it's one of my favorite no way no way gosh victor we got to meet up there we got to meet up there Yep, uh, Joe loves the hazmat. Okay. Love the hazmat, Josh says. Yeah, it's just really good. Be Peatier the better. <laughs> I wish. No, actually, I don't wish. That's just gross. You know that smell at a nursing home? When you walk through and you're just kind of like, you want to hold your nose, but you don't want to offend anyone. You're kind of like, <laughs> that's what peat tastes like. Plastic, burnt plastic, and freaking IV needles, man. That's it. 95.5 NGP is one of my favorites. Exactly. It is that good. They nailed it. They knew what they were doing. Now, 291 makes 100% rye. Um, Private Label does a 99.1 rye as well. Like, there's just so many different variations. It's so good. Wife's on swings. Shoot. That's why he's not here. Always down to go out. I'm in the Discord. and free after five most days. Let's do it. We'll do it. Yeah, shoot me a message, brother. Instagram, Discord, doesn't matter. Mothballs and mothballs and band-aids. Exactly. Oh, dude, I wish I know what that dude was saying, but I don't. Mm. going to get into 150 proof Colorado whiskey straight bourbon whiskey baby and it's a single barrel from mile high spirits up in Denver Colorado 150 proof six years old come on look at that it's not even that dark when you're thinking 150 proof, I'm thinking it's going to look like motor oil. It's dark, don't get me wrong, but at 150 proof, 
Come on. I'm, I love this bottle, dude. It's so fun to show, like, let friends drink it. Try this. I mean, I've gone through a little bit of it, but I'll let, take a sip of this, try it. And they're like, what the fuck? It's hot, but it ain't that hot, you know? Oh, look at that, Steve. How the hell did you know that? Is Jameson a, a good first option for a beginner? Absolutely it is. It's 80 proof, it's great. Been holiday seven year compared to the six? I have not. I have not, but 32 bucks for that is good. Dude, is a goofy ball. Gotta go grab that fireside. Is there any left? There should be. I would call. Bevy's is super cool. Bevy's little thing. Call them, ask them, because I need one or two more of these. Because when are you gonna find something 150 proof again? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just hard not to. Live to drink. Dude, Steve Campbell's the jack of all trades. Can I just say that? The jack of all trades. That's not 150 proof? Dude, if you're on a bachelor's trip, do you want anything under 150 proof? What the hell? Where's, wait, where's Longmont? Sorry, I'm not a Colorado native. Josh, no, not Josh. Joe can help me with that element. How far is Longmont from Denver or Springs? Just give me one of those and I'll tell you. That's sick though, dude. Yeah, Bevy's Littleton, dude. You got to, Jacob. It's awesome. 150 proof. <laughs> this is Christmas in a glass, too. I'll say that. It's very piney. Very piney, which is so weird to me. I don't know if they have the mash bill on this one. I know it's bourbon, so it's at least 51% going, but it doesn't. All right. <clears throat> it's not every day you meet a whiskey so warmly welcomed by cowboys and aficionado. Is it? Where the fuck are there cowboys in Denver? Get real. Anyway, <laughs> each bottle begins with Rocky Mountain water, Colorado corn. Okay, so they do source, not source, they get their grains from Colorado. Spicy rye, that's where the Christmas is coming from. And chocolatey barley, of course. So no wheat, three grain. German copper still, okay. White oak barrels, Denver Rick House. Back to our tasting room for a drink. All right, cool. There's not cowboys in Denver, so they're lying on that. But who cares? Okay, 40 minutes. I'm constipated. Dude, just go poo. Oh, I want to go to Ben Holly. That'd be sick. Let me read the rest of this. What's your other favorites in the Springs? I can't think of the names you said. Um, a ton of picks. A ton of picks. In the Springs? Um, Freedom Liquor. Patriot Liquor, and Veterans. Veterans, for sure. They have a good bit of picks, a lot. Um, security Discount Liquors is a must, is a must. And Oasis Liquors is pretty good, too. They don't have a crazy amount of stuff in right now, but yeah. So 40 minutes away, dude, you got to go check out Bevy's and Dave Co. if you can. You get any new Still Austin offerings, or have you tried the Man Man Green? No, no uh, Still Austin offerings except the Bottle of the Month Club. Uh, if you sign up with the Bottle of the Month Club through Whiskey Readers, you get a bottle every single month and do a live tasting. And that's what this is this month. Security, for sure. 21-year Art of the Spirits when I was in town. Yes. Jesus loves you. I love Jesus, dude. Amen, brother. Security James the GOAT, 100%, 100%. It's one of the best places on earth. It's kind of weird. I played baseball my whole life. If you ever smell pine tar, put pine tar in a baseball bat on your hands, on your helmet, whatever, that's what this smells like. It smells like friggin' pine tar, friggin' pine tar. Great hookup, got me some great tequila. Hell yeah, dude, Victor. I love Jamie. The more you shot there, the better it'll be for you. No, no markup on prices. I've gotten some amazing bottles from there and his store pick of Art of the Spirits is Now, while I talk about that, guess what? James and I were collaborating. We picked an Art of the Spirits 20 year bourbon. 20-year bourbon together. 
So it's gonna be a whiskier and security discount liquors, just the two of us. Um, obviously other people have tried it and everything, but it's gonna be my sticker, his store, everything. And it'll be in security discount liquors. Forgot to mention that. That pick is phenomenal. 20 year old whiskey guys for like 120 bucks. Hear me out, 20 years old, $120. That's not that expensive. Eagle Rare, 25 years old, is 10,000 versus 124 for five years old. Just saying, just saying. Yo, if you go to Mark Jacob, highly recommend that you could pick up the Madeira or the Tokai. Let him, here, just tell him. Not saying I have like a crazy pool. Just tell him Kanan, Whiskey or Sent you. And if you can, try the Madeira and the Tokai, both of his picks from Art of the Spirits. One of those you're gonna to wanna to go home with. You pick one, I promise you. Exactly, Iowa. 20 year fire. We can, Joe. We Look, I'm all about helping that. Our Patreon members, for sure. Definitely our Patreon member. You know, I can't help out every single person that DMs me on Instagram or anything, but if a Patreon member really needs some help getting a bottle to them that they really want and we picked it, I got you. So any of you that are in the Patreon that won't literally let me know, I'll let you know. I'll let everyone know when it drops. And if you need help grabbing one, I'll send it to you. 20 year whiskey for 120 bucks. Uh, the Tokai, however you spell it, is so good. Exactly. That one is phenomenal. My favorite. You bought the barrel, dude? No way. You got to finish some stuff in that. That's freaking cool. On the Bills trading Diggs, I think where Diggs is going is going to be a good move. I really do. I think uh, that team's going to benefit a lot. Um, but I think the Bills could pick up a good draft this year, like someone underrated, someone low-key. So I don't think they're going to hurt that much, truly. Moke Wagon, Moke Wagon, Smoke Wagon, Desert Colt. They came out with that? Mm -mm. That sounds way cooler than Uncut the Younger. Desert Colt, that sounds badass. You ended up with the Madeira finish. Might bust that out tonight. You should. It's that good. Whew. Yeah, Diggs and Houston, that's what I'm saying. Like, that team is going to benefit, dude. CJ Stroud, Diggs. Their team is just, I, I really love CJ Stroud. I really do. I think personally, he should have been the number one pick in the NFL draft. Glad he wasn't, though, because he didn't go to the Panthers. But um, I thought he was a better quarterback than Bryce Young, you know. Someone to grab that. Look, if I make it up there before someone else does, message me, Joel, on Patreon or Instagram, and we'll get you the 150 proof. What can I say? Like, it's got a little bit of sweetness. It's hot. It's hot, but it ain't 150 proof hot. It's about 120. Um, Christmas. It almost tastes like a gin, dude. It almost tastes like a 150 proof gin. It's that like juniper berry, pine, but it's 150 proof. And it sips at like 120 and it's 60 bucks. If you're not a sipper and you're a drinker, probably a good $60 bottle for you. Dude, no way. I would buy Uncut the Younger for clearance, for mixing purposes, for anything. Uh, bro, getting drunk on a Monday, shaking my head. Definitely not drunk, not even close. Um, but so what? I don't have work tomorrow. <laughs> you do. Oh, uh, Bryce Young only went number one because of where he went to college. That's also fair. Choke wagon should be on clears. <laughs> Steve, the private barrel selects are freaking good, man. He a baddie. He know he a 10. Thank you, stranger. Yo, what's up, BMT? Hi. Hi, how are you? Christmas in a glass. Seriously, that's the best way I can describe this. Big fan. Big fan of this. What do we think? Okay, hear me out. Not hear me out. Answer me out. 
Should we go back to streams inside on the table with everything laid out? Or should we do more of these? Because the weather's getting nice now, so I could do these as often as I want. Should we do garage streams? What do we think? Did the trolls work on out today, huh? There was a couple. There was a couple early. One dude said, I'll give you $5 if you shut up. <laughs> That's funny. That, it's funny, but it's trolling. I want Frey Ranch. I've, Frey Ranch has not hit the Colorado market. It has not hit the Colorado market, but I do want to try it. Mix them up? Okay, yeah. I like that idea, too. Do a couple at night in the house. Do a couple back here. Do a couple at Josh's house at the end of next month. Free Ranch is hit or miss. Okay. Yeah, the wind sucked, dude. I, I didn't know that about Colorado. Okay. I'm from Louisiana. But on the day, almost a daily basis, if, if they say it's going to be a windy day in Colorado, it's like a Category 2 hurricane wind. I'm not kidding. People's fences get knocked down. And if you look up, what is a Category 2 hurricane? That's the wind. It's insane. Because I'm from Louisiana where we have hurricanes. Got you on the freight. You have freight ranch? Dude, I've never tried it. I would love to taste that, Josh. Thank you, brother. Have y'all seen the sketch? Thank you. Thank you, brother. Tuesday. That guy's blowing up, huh? What are your top five NBA teams? Bulls. So I can't wait for the plays because I think Kobe White. Takes his playoffs and lose round one. Listen, not a basketball fan. Okay, really not. I am a Pelicans fan, though, because I'm from Louisiana. So if they're good, I'm going to watch. Pelicans have to be up there. Um, let me think. The Utah Jazz, because Jazz, again. Charlottesville Hornets, because, again, we used to be the Hornets. So that's three right there. Uh, I always thought that the – what's that Minnesota team? The Bucks, right? I think they have a cool jersey like them. And the Phoenix Suns always like their throwbacks and their today. Ooh, the Raptors have a cool jersey, too. Anyway, not a big basketball fan. Colorado is such a great state. It is pretty cool. It is. Don't get me wrong. Dylan, you golf here? I'm down. Let's golf. I'm serious. I've always told, look, in Patreon, I always tell people, hey, uh, we're going golfing today. Anybody? Literally, I'll golf with y'all. I'd love to do that. True Yanks fan? True Yanks fan. I collect a lot of hats. I have a lot of baseball team hats. Um, the goal is to finish the collection of the MLB However, I will never, ever own a Dodgers hat, period. Um, but I do have almost every team in the MLB, but I am a true Yanks, Yanks fan. Coors Whiskey, I love Five Trail, but I like their barrel proof. I have Their standards okay. Their barrel proof is good. I shouldn't say I love. 50 bucks, good. Not, you're not going to go wrong with that. Golf tomorrow. If the wind's not bad... Yes, I'm down. I'm down, actually. At least you hate the Cowboys. I do hate the Cowboys. Passion. Hate the Cowboys. Passion. Bachelor party golf trip this week. Okay, that's right. Colorado National. Dude, that's so sick. St. Louis Cardinals. Dude, I almost, almost ordered a Cardinals hat, and it sold out instantly on one of the websites I used. I was like, wow. In the morning, uh, Josh, my son has, a, what time does your wife go to work? Because my son has a morning appointment. Appointment. 90 bucks to, dude, 90 bucks for Colorado International is not terrible. Really isn't. Really, really isn't. One thing I'll say about this and I'm kind of glad about it. Um, you have to be in the mood for this. Like, the other night when I was watching UFC 300, probably would have been a perfect night to freaking have a glass of this while you're watching some fights, you know what I'm saying? But, um, like right now, I'm not necessarily in the mood for this. I'm not saying it's bad. It's sipping like I know it sips. 150 proof. Christmas in a glass. But I'm not in the biggest mood for this right now. Like when I finish this live, I'm probably going to go have a glass of Weller 107. Or some JT Mellick. Weller foolproof. Weller foolproof, probably. 
115 proof, real sweet, um, just relax on the couch. That's something I'm gonna have after this. Right now, 150 proof is kinda like, hoo, hoo, but it's good, I don't know. 130, ooh. We might be able to make it, Josh. Let's keep texting. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> buns, man, Cowboys are buns. Yeah, dude, a perfect super, dude, this is a perfect shooter for the Max Kale. I'm not even kidding. That's what I said, even if you're not a sipper, you're just a drinker and you like throw back harsh whiskey, probably the best bottle in the world for you. It's 60 bucks and it's 150 proof. Dude, I'm telling you, 80 proof, 80 proof whiskey. Multiply that by two, that's 160. This is 150. One shot is almost the equivalent to two shots of Basil Hayden. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Gaethje knockout was one of the best knockouts, man. It was just the way he pointed at the center and just freaking rocked his world was awesome. Love to try 107. Victor, I'm so serious, brother. If you can get on base, let me know. If not, I'll come pick you up from the visitor center. We'll sit right here in this garage. I'll let you try Weller 12, Weller Single Barrel, Weller Full Proof, Weller 107. Weller, the only Weller that I do not have is CYPB. I'll let you try some awesome stuff. Seriously, I'm so open to that. You want 200 at dinner? Ooh. Yeah, that's fair, Joe. Definitely. Since you're an NBA fan, what about the NFL? What are your top five NFL teams and your number one team to make the Super Bowl and win it next year? Okay, great question. Number one team to win the Super Bowl and again, again next year is the Kansas City Chiefs. Not my favorite team, but let's just be real. Patrick Mahomes is the current GOAT and has the potential to be the GOAT, the greatest of all time. He's doing it without a crazy stacked team. This year, crazy stacked team like Tom Brady. Hate him or love him, he really is that good. Um, I think they're going to be the first three-peat Super Bowl ever. Um, my number one team, diehard fan, is the New Orleans Saints. If I had to pick a number two team, is the New York Jets. I've always liked the Jets because of their color. That's it. I love that pretty green color that they wear. Number three is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals just because I was a big, big, big LSU fan, still am. And Joe Burrow um, and what he's done for that team. He seems like the city's great, like the team's great. So the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, number four would have to be the 49ers just because when I was a little kid, my dad bought me one of those like little kid 49ers outfits because that's all they had at the time. They didn't have Saints. They sold out for Christmas. So I had one of those. Have a lot of pictures in that. And then number five would have to be, and this sounds like a sin, you know what I mean, going against my uh, team, but the Miami Dolphins. Like them before Tua, like them before everything, because my dad always liked the Miami Hurricanes. So, yeah. Pass on a wall of 12 for 80. Ooh. What year, was it this year? Was it the 2023 Weller 12? Because if so, damn, when you try the one I have, you're going to miss out on it. Bengals, who day? Dude, we got some who days in here, huh? Dang. Van Winkle 12 all day. Dude, we got, speaking of freaking, I mean, football, we got Russell Wilson in the chat, baby. What's up, Russ? Where are you going next year? You ready for Pittsburgh? Gorilla's gonna, Gorilla's gotta be, wait, he said Steelers? How's he not a Broncos fan? It was this year, Garrison. If that guy's still offering it for 80, buy it. I'll buy it from you for 80. Buy it. If you can still buy it for 80, please buy it. I need a backup so bad. I'm telling you, not a big fan of Weller 12 in general. This year's Weller 12, phenomenal. One of my top fives of the year. That's real. TDS Steelers. You grew up here. Shitsburg. Dang, dude, y'all going in. Nobody went in on the Bengals. Dang, John. That's why, see, that's why Bengals fans suck. They go after everybody else, okay? Listen, the only team that I agree that you should absolutely bash, the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. I hate those guys. They just, I hate their fan base. I hate everything about them. Will the Chiefs move to Dallas? Hell no. Is that, a, is that a real? Like they're talking about doing that? I don't see that happening. Why would they? Woodford Reserve Double Oak? What do you mean, pal? We got a Woodford Reserve Double Oak store pick, and it is freaking awesome. Oh, he laughed at the Bengals? All right, that's fair. Used to be a Dolphins fan, kind of Jarvis Landry. Yeah, Jarvis went to LSU too. Uh, moved with the Browns because of him. Now I stay with him, and my family's from Buffalo, so I like him. Really? 
Jarvis played for LSU too. So did you watch him in college? Because he was a dog. So to Saturday, she got Blanton's in for 160. Dang. Listen, I have a video coming out um, probably tomorrow um, on Wednesday. But I found a Blanton's green label. Blanton's green, dude. Not sold here, but super cool. You need to get the, yeah, dude. I need another Woodford for sure. I need another one. Jake. Je Bevy's pick of the Woodford's one of the best in my cabinets right now. One of the best. I have, I have a George T. Stag. I have all the Weller lineup. I have all the Stag Juniors from last year. I have a lot of things. This is one of my favorites in my cabinet right now. Weller 12. Um, this would have om almost made my top five whiskey of the year, I think. I have that video coming out as well. That one's going to be crazy. Not going to give any hints, but we did a top five whiskey of the year, and that one should be coming out. One fifteen. Oh, okay. <sighs> Again, I'm not really in the crazy mood for this, but I am still in the mood to drink whiskey. So I think after the live stream, like I said, I'm going to go have a nice, like, Weller foolproof. Something just nice, good, easy to sip. Dang, that's crazy. I didn't know they were even talking about doing that. What batch do you have right now, Victor? What batch? That also matters. Because um, if you all want to know, like, the weight of my heart, um, if ever you send me a sample, or if ever you stag. Stag's the weight of my heart. It really is, man. Saw you short on Peerless Double O. Couldn't find it anywhere in Cali. Looks like the furthest west they distribute. Really? The furthest they go is Arizona? Dude. I'm going to, uh, if you message me on Instagram or anything, I think we can find websites or something that will actually ship to you for, like, not above price. So, we'll see. Wild Turkey 101 is my only Wild Turkey product that I'll stand behind and say I agree with you. Um, even a rare breed is not that good. Wild Turkey 101 is actually good. It is solid for 19 bucks. Twenty-three. I want twenty-three C so bad, dude. I haven't even got to taste one. Yes, I did actually. I think with, I did the other day with Josh, and it was freaking awesome. I want a bottle. That's what I meant to say. It's the one twenty-seven point eight. Can't remember the actual batch number. Okay, nineteen ten classic. Old Forster 1910 is a classic, classic whiskey. Ah. <laughs> Shit. Fire. Make your small batch bourbons my current favorite. Dude, Victor's a great product. They make great stuff. Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. Don't think I've had that. I don't think so. Have you tried Dit? Is that, wait, Dittons, Dittons. What's the other one from Alabama? Um, fuck. Everyone's been talking about it. Not Dittons, but I, I want to say it's Crittentons? Crittentons? No. No. I haven't tried anything from Alabama, but there's one distillery that everyone talks about in Louisiana that I want to try so bad. Ben Holiday Weeded 7. Dentons. Dentling. That's it. Dentling is the one I'm thinking of. I've been wanting to try Dentling so bad. Got tons of decently rare tequila you can try. Yes, I would love to try. I really enjoy tequila. I have, uh, I think, three bottles. That's it. But I really enjoy it. Dentling is the one I'm thinking of. I really want to try Dentling. Crittenton is a Mississippi. That's the cut above that I, I will be trying soon. 101 mash bill uh, or proof single barrel. Got one for 55. Damn, that's not bad at all. Sid Luckman holds a record for throwing seven TDs in one game. Oh, that's sick, dude. Crittenton's. Yeah, Crittenton's from Mississippi. Detling is from Alabama. 23B is the stag I got. That's the one I wasn't crazy over. I really enjoy 23A. Dave, why did you bring that up? Dave? Dave, why did you bring that up? 
That's my favorite. It's one of my favorites of all time. And I've gotten this, I gotta taste this much of it. That's it, that much. And Steve has 10 bottles on his cabin. Hey, where's Steve at? Let's see. Don't ask him about it. See, that's why I didn't want him to ask about it because I call him out. And uh, yeah, haven't got this right yet. JT Mellick Rice Whiskey, love, one of my favorites. No way, dude, you gotta, you gotta get some Louisiana stuff, like whiskey wise. Just message me. Dave, I say it's too sweet. I love the Rocket Forms. I'll just probably never get to find it again. But it was really good. Decently good stuff. Single barrel Fortaleza. It's way better than winter blends. How did you get a single barrel Fortaleza? How? You're the man. No, you're the man, Nick. I appreciate you. Let's do it. You only have five. Dude, that's ridiculous, Steve. That's ridiculous. You ever heard, what's the saying? You're supposed to help the needy. You're supposed to feed the needy, you know? I'll buy one from you. I don't know. Just one day. If you ever see me walk in the streets, because I spent all my money trying to trying to win lotteries to win a, a, a Rock Hill Farms, think of me that day. Just think of that day. Won't you, wouldn't you be sad? I'd be sad. Try McCormick? Mm, I don't think I've... I don't think. I've tried, I have had so many sample bottles sent to me. I think we're gonna do another series, a uh, live series and go through, I have over 150 <laughs> sample bottles that I don't, I didn't finish all of them. So I think we need to go through and do that again. Four lives on a drop, sold in 20, whoa. 13th Colony grabbing that tomorrow. Damn, dude. Everybody trying to make me jealous tonight or what? No, congrats, dude, that's huge, really. Hell yeah. All right, y'all. Um, we've done a little over an hour tonight. This was super fun. I'm glad we did it a little early. I enjoyed that. Maybe I'll try to mix that up as well. We'll do some more garage streams, more streams in the house, um, and earlier times, later times. So, yeah, really appreciate all you being here tonight. All of our Patreon family, I really love you guys. You know that. Um, I'll probably talk to you after this live stream on Patreon. Anyone that follows on YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff. Always appreciate you. Check out the Bottle of the Month Club. And, uh, excuse me. We'll see you probably, let's see, what's tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow night. Maybe, we'll see. See where the wind takes me.